I'm pretty new to whiskey, as you can probably gather. I've got two Glendronachs, a 12 year old and an 18 year old. We're gonna taste it. Hi everyone, welcome to The Last Drop. I am Chris. Uh, today I've got two samples, uh, a 12 year old and 18 year old, of Glendronic. Um, I'm new to whiskey, uh, I'm obviously going through a little journey, uh, and I think probably some of you watching are as well. And, you know, one of the questions, not questions, but one of those things that I've sort of started looking into a bit more because obviously my budget is not very high. Uh, I can push the boundary sometimes if I feel necessary. If there's something particular that I've maybe seen, uh, and, and you know, want to push it out, push that boat out, um, is it worth it? That's the question really. Uh, so through the wonder of samples, uh, I'm able to taste some more expensive whiskies, uh, which is delightful. And big shout out to Paul Gibbs, who's provided me these ones. Uh, I think I've actually had these before from samples from Mark Slinger, so thank you again for them. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna pour them out, taste them, see which one I prefer. Uh, then we're gonna look a bit of like about price. Um, and then whether it's p worth paying that more for the other bottle, for the most, for the 18 year old, right, compared to the 12. Um, I'm pretty sure they're probably, you know, they're the same process, they're just possibly in a bit different barrels. Um, but obviously you've got that age difference, uh, which is what is gonna be interesting to see if, yeah, which one, which one's worth it? Well, if they're both worth it, um, go from there. So, let's get a pour in. So I'm going to stick the 12 in a plain glass. So obviously both of these are very sherry influenced. Um, I think Glendronic are famed for their sort of sherry cask stuff. Uh, the 18 year old I'm going to put in a nice uh, Jason Whiskey White glass. Thank you Jason. There we go. Every last drop. Right. So. Colour wise. These are both. Uh, oh what a lovely chink. For starters. Um, both uh, natural colour, both until filled with all those lovely things. So as you can probably guess, I don't know if you can make it out there, but obviously you can see contrast wise, uh, the 18 year old is a bit darker. Uh, not overly darker, to be honest. Uh, just holding up the light here. And uh, that's a little swirl around. Let's see what those legs are like. Everybody likes those legs. I'm a leg man. Are you a leg man? Same that. Tell you what, those 12 year old legs are very late forming. Let's try it again, shall we? I could have a dirty glass. I did wash them out, so they should be alright. But, um, yeah, the legs on that, uh, on the 12 year old do seem to be forming a lot later than the uh, 18 year old which is very interesting isn't it? Well not very interesting, depends what you're into doesn't it? So let's get a nosing. First one of the day so bear with me. Uh, so I'm getting the raisins, uh, some sort of brown sugar notes. Almost like a, 
not an OT, but a sort of a porridge no, not a porridge smell, a cereal, cereal type grainy sort of smell. It's a very nice smell actually. Uh, there's not much you can go wrong with that. Not overly rich, quite light I'm finding. Nice. Let's go for the 18. So immediately that's a lot more sherry, a lot more. And I think you get that same brown sugar characteristic come through. Yeah, so big old sherry kick on the 18. So out of the smells, uh, they both seem very, you know, uh, go back to the legs a bit. Uh, both the oils seem to be quite high. Um, so that's really nice, really interesting. Um, the 18 has a big old sherry nose, uh, which I like. Uh, I quite like a sherry every now and then. Uh, yeah, that's good. Let's get tasting. Okay, so that's lovely. It's almost quite fruity. Um, I'm going to say relatively creamy, maybe? Sort of quite a creamy texture, which will probably be the oils coming through, so the fats and stuff. And almost a bitterness as well. Um, almost like a, a thick cut, you know, um, supermarket own brand um, marmalade rather than a a named brand. Finish wise, quite lengthy. Um, sort of like a burnt sort of toffee. Um, so maybe if, if somebody's over done a toffee apple or something like that and they've overdone the, the caramel, uh, I think that yeah, sort of, again, that sort of burnt toffee feel, which is quite nice. Like that. Do like that bitterness um, come through. Makes it a bit more interesting. Uh, let's go for the 18. So, yeah, well, loads of. So much more sherry on that nose. I mean, it's a lot higher, uh, well, not a lot higher, but um, the ABV is slightly higher on that, so it's 46%. Just going to have a bit of water because I didn't cleanse my palate in between, which was silly, wasn't it? So yeah, big old sherry hit. Um, nice sort of... You get the same creamy texture, um, which probably comes from the meals, I think. Really quite nice in the mouth. Mm. Tell me what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab a spoon. I've got a spoon. I'm going to do a Ralphie. Uh, just a quarter teaspoon of water. Uh, in the uh, 18 year old. Uh, it is slightly higher ABV, so I think it can handle it. Uh, I'm just going to quickly 
nose it again and give it a little taste. Yeah, it's still the same nose to be honest. Um, quite a bit of sherry and brown sugar. It's pleasant. Um, yeah, a bit cakey maybe. Um, so sort of, well not cakey, but maybe like a sort of sherry soaked fruit. Um, which comes through nice, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, that's, that's nice. Uh, to be honest, I probably prefer the 12. I think I like the nose better on the 12. It's not as sherry. But it almost seems that there's a bit more complexity there. Complexity? It's very nice. I like that. There's so much more sherry on the, on the 18. Really, really really bold, you know, very bold flavour, smell wise. So as always, uh, I've got some tasting notes from other people. Uh, I won't go through them all, but uh, there's some, you know, interesting ones here. Um, on the 12, we've got uh, nose, I'm just going to read them out. Uh, rich cereal, struck match, raisin, cinnamon, caramelized sugar, open, opens up with uh, Pedro Jimenez. Uh, a bit of raw ginger and creamy uh, hazelnut on the nose. That's a lot. Uh, Taste-wise, fruits, peels, buttery pan au chocolat, marmalade on toast uh, with a nuttier spiced raisin finish with a smoky toffee finish, which... Interesting. Uh, on the 18, uh, it is snows. Uh, sherry so thick you will need a knife to cut it, which is probably a good analogy for it. Uh, old rum, pineapple, and brown sugar. Uh, Palette wise, uh, Christmas cake, rum, chocolate hazelnuts, runny honey, and sautonnières. Uh, finish fresh black currant blueberry pancakes with lots of maple syrup. Uh, these are all from Master of Mop, so uh, thank you for letting me look at your website. Let's go to the 12. Yeah, definitely sort of a sweet cereal note to it, which is nice. Not sure I'm getting struck match, which sort of indicate a sulfury smell. But I'm not getting that. Uh, t -t -t opens with PX, raw ginger. Hitting. Definitely caramelized sugar and the raisins, rich cereal. I get them. But it's, it's good. So that, that is a really good, good dram, actually. Um, really really enjoy that um, for a, a 12 year old uh, it's a lot different uh, when it's not a lot different but it's um, very sorry there was a fly the 18 yes it's richer um, I've obviously put water in that as well uh, it's not really dialed it down too much um, still getting that big sherry nose, um, really nice. Um, not sure I'm getting a blackcurrant or blueberry pancake or maple syrup on the end, to be honest. I don't know. Um, I think from this, and this is the bit where it's going to get deep, we're going to go deep, okay? I honestly prefer the 12. Uh, the 18 
has a great big sherry nose, uh, which is all well and good, and it is very nice. It's a very nice whiskey. Don't get me wrong. Uh, the 12, just, I don't know why, I don't know why, but it just seems to have a bit more to it. Um, which is weird. Well, it's not weird, is, is it weird? I don't know, you tell me. Comment down below. Uh, is it weird that the 12 seems more complex than the 18? I don't know. Is that, uh, should that be the case? This is the questions that um, when I'm, now I'm entering or I've entered the whiskey world, um, these are, you know, I'm looking at, at prices, I'm looking at um, whiskies to buy, uh, I'm looking at flavours I want to try, I'm looking at all the other whiskey tubers, they were trying stuff that I've never tried, um, you know, Ralphie's what, um, 700 of reviews now, so, you know, there's so many whiskies out there. Um, Am I glad I tried it? Yes, I am, um, because it's nice. It's a nice whiskey. Uh, what would I then buy? I'd buy. I'd probably buy the twelve. Um, I, so price-wise, uh, let's take a look at that. So the Glendronic twelve-year-old retails at about thirty-five to forty pound. Depending on where you are, deals and so forth, uh, you might get it cheaper on certain things, uh, certain websites, blah blah blah. Um, the 18 year old, which I believe is the Allardyce, uh, is 90 to 100 pounds. So I mean there's a very significant sort of 50 quid jump. So for 50 quid I could get another bottle. So in fact I could get two bottles. Of 12 year old for the price of an 18 year old making 24 years does that how is that how it works I don't know probably not <laughs> um, so yeah do you want two of a really good whiskey or do you want one of a really good whiskey I think two I want two bottles <laughs> Um, yeah, it's an interesting thing. Uh, I think when when you guys obviously new to whiskey or if you're into whiskey already, uh, it's an interesting thing to look at um, these prices then these different types of whiskey and what you feel is value for money. Um, I'm, I would never scoff at being given a bottle of 18 year old. Um, but I don't think I'd go out and buy it. I honestly prefer this 12 year old. Uh, yeah. There's something about it that just seems a bit more in depth. There just seems a bit more to it, you know? Um, which I don't think... There seems to be multiple dimensions in there. Um, it's probably what I'm trying to say. The 18 year old just seems to be... Here's an 18 year old whiskey, it's in sherry casks, it's got massive sherry notes in it. Um, let's be honest, you could probably just go and buy some sherry. Yeah, it's so much, it's richer, and if that's what you're looking for, that's great. Um, but I'd say it's more one dimensional. Um, Especially to a, a, a younger palate, uh, if you will. So, I mean, I don't know you guys out there that are um, well into your whiskies. Uh, you might think, what the hell is that guy talking about? He doesn't know shit. You know? Uh, but, you know, I'm a young guy. Young guy. Youngish guy. So I like the younger whiskies for some reason. Maybe that's it. Maybe the old stuff's for the old guys and the new stuff's for the new guys. But, no, for me, I think I prefer the 12 year old. It seems more complex. Uh, I like the notes on it. Um, definitely, yeah, a lot more. Seems more to it. 
which I've said a number of times now. So I think with that, we'll give it a rest. We'll say go and buy a 12 year old Glendronach. Uh, but yeah, maybe give some, you know, give some samples a go. Uh, older does not mean better. That's the last drop.